Welcome to Chateau Vaughn here in Vail, Colorado. We are here making dinner for Lindsay and her whole family's in town for Thanksgiving, so doing a little pre-Thanksgiving meal. We're gonna make some pesto pasta. You guys are gonna love it, easy to make, and I'm gonna show you how. First step is we're going to cook up this asparagus. With the asparagus, we're gonna to wanna to chop off these hard ends. I'm gonna throw them in this pot. Normally we just use one bundle of asparagus. Here we I bought three at the grocery store. So we're cooking for about 10 people, so we have tripled the recipe. So one thing about this meal is that it's loaded with micronutrients. So that's just fancy word for vitamins and minerals. Um, one huge thing about Lindsay's diet is we try and get a lot of micronutrients in. People get really concerned about carbs and protein and, and fats, and yeah, those are really important, obviously, but they often overlook the little things. So for Lindsay, we make sure we hit all of these really detailed uh, nutritional aspects. And the asparagus actually gives us a, a ton of those. Okay, so my asparagus is in my mixing bowl. I'm gonna throw some avocado oil on it. Okay, avocado oil is great because it has a high smoke point. So what that means is, is it's not gonna smoke in the oven or on the pan. And when you have an oil that, that starts to smoke and your food gets really burnt, there's some research out there that shows that can be possibly cancer causing and leads to also inflammation within the body. So we like to limit that, obviously. The less inflammation we have, better recovery we have. So we're gonna go with avocado oil and then we're gonna throw salt and pepper in there. So we got the mauled and sea salt flakes here. These are the absolute best. They make everything taste better. Couple pinches here. Obviously we're using three bundles, so I'm gonna go about three pinches. Don't wanna make it too salty. We got black pepper. Again, just already ground up. We're gonna throw that in. Okay, and then we're gonna mix it up. So best tools you got two clean hands right here. So I just want to get the oil, salt, pepper evenly spread over the asparagus. Okay, and then I'm gonna throw it on my baking pans here and I'm gonna lay the asparagus out nice and even. All right, we don't want to crowd the pan because that's gonna ruin how it cooks. Um, and we're gonna roast these. So the good thing about this pasta dish is we're using green lentil as our pasta and it's loaded with proteins. In the case of Lindsay, she's training so hard, lifting weights, skiing, that we need some additional protein just to help with muscle building and recovery. So what we have here, we're just gonna throw some chicken in our dish. We've washed them, patted them dry, and now I'm just gonna throw some salt, pepper, and some other spices on them. Throw them in the oven, and that's it. So we're gonna go salt and pepper each one. Another trick, salt and pepper both sides of the meat. It's gonna separate you from the good cooks versus the bad cooks. Shout out to Bobby Flay for that one. Salt and pepper. Salt isn't bad for you. There's just a ton of conflicting research regarding salt and you hear it, salt's bad for your blood pressure, etc. A lot of nutrition research gets blown up like that and some of that is from like a long time ago, like the 50s when we didn't really understand what we were talking about. It's a natural ingredient your body needs. I'm just gonna throw some Italian seasoning on. So just a little bit of this, don't want to go overboard. We could add a little more avocado oil for flavor. Salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. Here's an important thing. Everyone I cook for always asks me, how do you make the chicken? Because every time I make it, it gets dry. It's all about temperature and time, right? Simple math equation. So here it is right here. Bake for 300 degrees at 32 minutes. That's it, works every single time, perfect. So now I'm gonna cook my pasta. So we have our big pot of water boiling. It's hard to find a pasta that really tastes like pasta and that looks like pasta without the main ingredient being wheat. And here we have green lentil pasta. This one's awesome, penne. Stays together nice, looks like the real thing, tastes like the real thing. And you don't need that much pasta to get a lot of protein out of it. So, if you're a vegetarian, this is an awesome go-to meal. Plant-based protein. Super simple, just gonna dump it in. Cook the pasta for nine minutes. 
stirring as often as I can. So we took our asparagus out of the oven. It's not burnt, but it's nice and crispy, roasted just how we like it. Our pasta is going here. I'm gonna continue to stir that. I'm just gonna add a little extra flavor to our dish. So here we have shallots and garlic. If you read Anthony Bourdain's book, he talks about one ingredient that he puts in everything is shallots. In any restaurant you go to, they put in shallots. So I put in shallots. Avocado oil, we're always cooking that because we're pretty high heat. You want to cook in avocado oil and finish with olive oil. Pan is hot. First thing I'm going to add is my garlic and shallots. Make your life easy. Pre-chopped garlic, super easy. Just get the oil on those guys. We're going to let that cook for a minute or two, let it get nice and fragrant. So we have our shallots, our garlic. Those are ready to go, cooked up. Now I'm just going to add spinach. Lindsay's diet is all about micronutrients, vegetables, minerals. Our big thing is just getting all those things that are going to give her energy and uh, pretty much support long-term health. So I got my spinach in there. So I'm just going to mix this around until my spinach wilts. You don't want to overcook it or it gets super bitter. Okay, so our asparagus is done, our spinach is done, and our pasta is done. That's our main ingredients of our meal. I'm going to mix all that together back in our pot here. So I'm going to take our asparagus and we're going to chop it up. Perfect. Um, if it was stiff, I'd probably have to leave it back in there and let it cook a little longer. But it's not burnt, so it's all good. 425 at 15 minutes. It just works every time. Don't, don't get creative. Just do what works. So chopped up our asparagus. I'm gonna throw that into our pot right here. Okay, just a cold pot, no heat. So we got asparagus in there. I'm gonna throw my spinach in there. Tons of flavor, I can smell that. I'm gonna throw the pasta in there. Mix it up a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna throw my Parmesan cheese in, my pesto, and my pine nuts. It's gonna give it that just extra flavor. We'll mix that oil up with the rest of the pesto. Okay, and because we have so much, we're just gonna throw it all in there. That's gonna give it a ton of flavor. So that's our pesto. We're gonna throw the pine nuts in there. Just that little extra flavor, that crunch. And last but not least, we're gonna go our fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Lindsay told me she likes the big chunks, so I do the big chunks. Because last time I caught her grating the Parmesan cheese with the vegetable peeler because she wants some extra big, so. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna mix all that up. So this meal is a go-to vegetarian meal just because it adds so much protein, which is hard to get on a vegetarian diet, as we know. We're gonna add chicken to it just because we need that little extra. Okay, so we got our pasta here with the asparagus, the spinach, the shallots, the garlic, pesto, Parmesan cheese. Now we're gonna add our last ingredient, the sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, so those are chopped up. Oh man. Final mix right here, and the pasta is complete. We've added our sun-dried tomatoes. So here we have it, our plant-based pesto protein. So the only thing left to do is enjoy it.